Hey everybody, how's it going? Clouded Journey here to talk to you a little bit about some loot I scored at the flea market this weekend. I ended up spending a little bit more money than I was planning, which often is a good thing and sometimes is a bad thing. So I got some video games and some comics, and I made one huge mistake, which I'm going to tell you about as a warning, uh, so you can live vicariously through me, feel bad for me, and not make the same mistake yourself, hopefully. But, but uh, I'll show you a little bit what, what I got. So there's a guy selling video games outside at a table there. He just had a whole bunch for basically five bucks each. Some had boxes, some didn't. So I like to collect the games with their boxes. So I found this one, which looks like a terrible game, but it's called Destination Earth Star. But the box and the instructions are just in perfect condition. So I just got my NES not too long ago. So I'll fire that one up in a bit. I got uh, another one of box Populous for Super Nintendo, pretty good shape box as well. Instructions are also in there. And this game Draken, which some people have called the worst RPG ever created. Uh, if you've played it, leave a comment, let me know, because I don't know if I should get into it. But I think I had this game as a kid, I vaguely remember it, or rented it. And NES Battle Chess. I used to play this with my dad, so it's kind of got some nostalgic value. Uh, but yeah, excited about that one. I don't even have a Nintendo 64, but I remember this game being so awesome. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. I think this was the game where you first do the Hoth battle and you tie up the walkers with your snow speeder. And that was like the first time it was done really well and you felt like you were like, in that movie as Luke doing that and it was so fun so I kinda had to pick that one up uh, Arrow the Acrobat Super NES Final Fight really hard game there's one part I could never pass as a kid so hopefully I can fire it up and beat it now and at a different booth I found Fable three bucks it's all scratched up but I've been playing it, it works perfectly for Xbox so excited with that one then Inside, I checked out a guy's comic book booth. There's sometimes comic guys there, not too often. So I'm thumbing through everything. You know how it goes. There's just, he's got a table set up with some key issues, and he's got a box in the back. So, oh, can I look through the box? So I'm thumbing through. I'm pulling some stuff aside. I got a Venom and Carnage Battle one. I got uh, Amazing Spider-Man, another Venom one, 333. And of course, then I stumble upon this, and I get pretty friggin' excited. My heart rate just gets jacked right away. This guy doesn't seem to know what it is. I put it to the side, and I'm just trying to play it cool and pretend, oh yeah, I guess I'll go with these few. And he says, oh, I can sell them, but not, not this one. He won't sell me this one. He says, oh, I saw it on Comic Book Men the other day, and apparently it's worth a bunch of money, so I gotta find out what it's worth before I do it. For those of you who don't know, this is the first appearance of the Punisher, and a near mint condition of this issue would probably go for 800 to 1,000 bucks, probably more than that, actually. Um, it's got a mark on it, so I was thinking it's probably worth about 500 bucks at least. So I disappointingly buy my other two issues and saunter off and look around the rest of the flea market and I'm just thinking about it all day and I'm sick to my stomach. I offered him 60 bucks and he wouldn't take it because uh, it's just it was just in like perfect condition. There's a mark but so I go and show my wife and I'm like showing her on my phone look this is what it's worth this is what they're selling for on eBay like I got off of this guy like 80 or 100 bucks. She's like, okay, if you think so, like, that's fine. And then, so I went and I offered his wife's there, and she's like, if I was just me, I would have sold it to you for 20 or like five bucks, no problem, or whatever. And I was like, ah. So I say, come on, man, like, I'm gonna, I'm a collector. I'm not gonna, like, go and just flip it. I just, I want it for my collection. I'll give you $80 right now for it. I can go. So he says, okay, well, you can take a look at it if you want. And uh, I guess, yeah, maybe. And he kind of reluctantly was like, okay. And I'm just so excited. And this is where my warning comes in because I made a huge mistake, absolutely mental. And I want to warn you guys because when you go to the flea market and you go to treasure hunting or wherever, you can get really excited to the point where I was literally blind. I could not see 
what was directly in front of me. And I'm, I consider myself a fairly logical guy, a fairly centered person. I don't waste money and I don't get sucked into schemes and stuff. But like, if you look closer, there's a boat, there's a million things on here that show me this is not the original. Uh, first of all, there's this black border around which there was a series of reprints of key issues where they put that black border on it to show you. Second of all, up here, you see there's no 20, it should be 20 cents. There's no price. So I know that's when I notice in the car as I'm driving away after I've paid this guy $80 for this. And I, I'm like, how did I miss that? Down here, Marvel, not for resale. That's not on the original issue. I even looked through it, like quickly, and you can see the pages are like mint, but the way the colors are and the way the black stick out, like they don't, they didn't print like this back then. This is way better. Like if I took two seconds, I could have looked on the back and said Spider-Man 2, the movie came out in like 2004 or whatever. All the ads in here, there's also, if you, on any comic, if you look down on the new ones especially, they'll have the fine print where they say when it was printed and it clearly says Amazing Spider-Man number one, February 2004. Like, it is, it was, and I, and I totally paid for it and I deserved it. I thought about going back to get my money and I said no. Like, I made a stupid mistake and I need to learn from this. So I've been, I put a bunch of my own old comics I don't really want on eBay and I've made my money back that I've lost. I sold my Harbinger uh, series. So if you are a collector, be aware. You have to keep your emotions in check or they will come and they will bite you in the ass and you can easily be out a lot of money. My advice is know what you want, know what you're looking for and take your time. Don't obsess, just enjoy it and look, keep your eyes open. And when you do, take a deep breath and make sure that it's original. If you see something that's really good, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. It, it would be incredibly rare to find this issue in this good condition with a guy who has no idea. We all dream about it, so maybe that's part of it. But that was my mistake. It was stupid. Uh, so... Warning to you, be smart. So that's my haul. But yeah, happy hunting. Peace.